hello everyone welcome to the session today i am going to discuss about a very important concept which has been asked today in the inicet may 2022 exam so the exam has been conducted today okay today inicet 2022 may session exam they have asked a concept that we have not familiar with so far so already i have made a video regarding empiripolysis empiripolysis has been once asked in aims few years back now there are two terminologies entosis and cell cannibalism entosis has been asked in today's exam of course maybe cell cannibalism may be a future question it may be a future question now let us see what is empiripolysis it is a condition wherein hematopoietic cells in living and intact state they are seen in the cytoplasm of the host cell without any damage all these three phenomena they are called as cell in cell form a one cell will be present within the other cell then how they differ they differ in some ways in empiripolysis the cell which is present within this other cell is intact no physiological and morphological changes usually it applies to hematopoietic stem cells of course we have some other conditions like rosa dorf man disease okay in hepatitis okay autoimmune hepatitis these are the conditions in which even empiripolysis will happen if you want to have much more details about empiripolysis please go and see the corresponding video fine yes here the both cells are viable there is not any physiological and morphological consequences to either of them so i am writing here in empiripolysis both cells are viable both cells are intact here comes the quest what is entosis today's question was entosis see this is actually from a journal even you can get this journal from the what uh, google okay from the website what is entosis entosis means the cell engulfs a cell of same type the word is very very important cell engulf a cell of same type okay yes and this process i'm going to say just the key points just remember the key points we don't need any what mechanism of entosis what entosis or all those stuffs it's uh what beyond our territory so i'm going to focus on the points which they may ask in the coming years it is a process of cell to cell invasion and what is it's important why there should be entosis it plays a physiological role in the elimination of cells detached from a surface for example here there is a cell some abnormal proteins get attached to these cells or some other cells come and attach to these cells in order to remove this this cell will be taken inside this phenomenon is called as entosis see okay it is induced by detachment of a cell from the extracellular matrices fine as a result of some imbalance in actinomycin contraction between the neighboring cells so what is the pathophysiology behind this entosis one cell is there another cell comes and attacks how this cell 1 okay consider this is cell 1 and this cell 2 how the first cell will get rid of the second cell it will what induce some actinomycin contraction imbalance this is similar to what e cadherins rho gtps and rho kinase mediated actinomyosin contraction this e cadherin no cadherin cadherin is a what it's a type of adherin junctions 
Fine? Yes. So, by the how, how this adherence rho GTPase and rho kinase mediate this actinomyotin contraction which helps in engulfing the cell, the same mechanism applies in entosis also. So, straight away future question, which of the following proteins are mediated in entosis? Answer is E. cadherin, rho GTPase and rho kinase. Fine? Yes. So, that finishes the what? Entosis. See, you can see this picture. There is E cadherins and P cadherins. Okay, cell to cell attachment is driven by cadherins. There will be initiation of process of engulfment as a result of some imbalance in the actinomyosin contraction and engulfment of cells in the vacuolated space. See, the cells are engulfed within the vacuolated space of the major cell. Suppose these are cell 1, cell 2, and this is the major cell 3. This cell 1 and cell 2 are engulfed within the vacuolated space of cell number 3 vacuolated space each word is important because each of them may be an mcq question in the future that is fine fine just focus on these key points nothing more nothing complicated fine yes just remember this e cadherins rho kinase rho gtps cell engulf the cell of same type physiological role in the elimination of cells detached from the surface imbalance in actinomycin contraction between the neighboring cells so these are the factors which is responsible for entosis i hope this is clear for you yes Whereas in case of empiripolysis, I'm going to now compare entosis with empiripolysis. Empiripolysis means it may not be of the same type. The cell may not be of the same type. Am I right? Yes. And at the same time, the, uh, the two cells are intact and two cells are viable. Just go through the examples. Okay. You should not know what the huge differences between these two, uh, what uh, phenomena is that. Just the basic point of difference. Okay. That's all. I hope that is clear for you. Here in entosis, cell of the same type. There, both cells remain viable and intact. Finished. There is an another phenomenon. We call it as cellular cannibalism. Of course, all these three terminologies are what, uh, like, uh, the cellular cannibalism is almost similar to that of the entosis. Okay, that is all these are engulfing. One cell is going to live within the other cell. Okay, fine. Yes. See, it is also called as cellular phagocytosis or cell in cell appearance. Of course, all these three phenomena is cell in cell appearance. Okay, yes. But... But remember, cellular cannibalism mainly applies for tumor cells. Tumor cells, the word is very, very important, tumor cells. So that is why we call it as tumor cell within a tumor cell. Tumor cell within a tumor cell. Fine, or phagocytosis of tumor cell by tumor cell. In first thing, usually it is hematopoietic stem cell. Second type, cell of the same type. Third, if it is tumor cell by tumor cell, it is called cellular cannibalism. Okay, cellular cannibalism. Fine. Here, the difference comes, the cannibalistic cell, no, it can engulf similar or dissimilar cell types. Entosis, entosis, what? Cell of the same type, very important. Whereas in cellular cannibalism, it is almost like what our empiripolysis, that means a cell can engulf either the cell of same type or dissimilar type. Based on that, we have homotypic cell engulfment and heterotypic cell engulfment. Homotypic means a same cell, what will engulf neutrophil for example, I am just giving an uh, example, of course this is for a uh, tumor cells, I told you know, so a squamous cell carcinoma tumor cell is going to engulf another squamous cell carcinoma tumor cell, that is called as homotypic, fine, yes, in heterotypic means what, see, leukocytes by non-leukocytes like epithelial cells or fibroblast, heterotypic, one cell by different cell. Fine? Yes. In entosis, I am again repeating, same type of cell. Very important. Fine. Comes into the importance. Where all you can see cannibalism, breast cancer, all are important. You can't skip anything. Breast cancer. Number two, giant cell carcinoma of the lungs, gallbladder cancer, endometrial cancer, malignant thymoma, malignant lymphoma. Okay, all these conditions you have seen out of that. Remember breast cancer, carcinoma of the lungs, gallbladder, endometrial stromal and uh, all. Yeah, you can't skip anything. All are important because they may give one or the other conditions. Fine? Yes. Okay. What is NTCC? That is neutrophil tumor cell cannibalism. That means tumor cells will in NTCC. What is NTCC? I am going to write here. NTCC. NTCC means tumor cells, neutrophil tumor cell cannibalism. That means tumor cells engulf, engulf neutrophils. 
this is called as NTCC. Of course, that is also mainly seen in breast cancer, adenocarcinoma of intestine, gallbladder, pancreatic adenocarcinoma, all this. Okay, please go through this list. Fine? Yes. Because at least you should identify, you should exclude. If you exclude the wrong answer, you can what easily find the correct answer. That is uh, the way you can what solve these type of questions. You can't remember the complete list of all these things, right? Yes. And here, here, here also, entosis the cell gets entrapped within another cell and is present in a vacuolated space and which will pushes the nucleus to the periphery in entosis also i told in empery policies it's not like that in entosis and see there are some features common between empery policies and entosis there are some features common between entosis and empery policies there are some what features common between empery policies and uh, our cellular cannibalism okay all these have some common features and some differentiating factors okay in cellular cannibalism in entosis both the cells will be finally enclosed within the vacuolated space you can see here no yes whereas 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 finally what will be happening what is the difference between entosis and cellular cannibalism cannibalism means what autophagy eating am i right so here the engulfed cells will be degenerated this is one of the major important difference see in entosis they are remaining almost what intact am i right yes they have not anything meant uh, okay this uh, others has not mentioned about any phagocytosis in entosis in entosis phago cytosis is absent whereas in case of cellular cannibalism i am writing here as you can see in this picture i am highlighting with yellow color what is it phagocytosis or degeneration is present phagocytosis or degeneration is present fine yes i hope it is very clear for you i hope it is very clear for you okay yes now in a one minute i am going to write a gist of all these things mainly let us first write empery policies empery policies this is the take home message cell within another cell both viable intact coming to entosis again cell within cell but vacuolated area the other cell will be present no phagocytosis cell engulf cell of same type in cannibalism mainly for tumor cells that is the first point again they are placed in vacuolated area phagocytosis present cell engulf cell of same or different type okay okay fine i'm going to draw this within table this is the take home message this is the take home message okay i hope things are very clear for you fine hope you have enjoyed this session entosis once again i am repeating same type of cell no phagocytosis remember e cadherin rho gtps rho kinase imbalance in actinomyosin contraction cellular cannibalism mainly for tumor cells that uh, breast carcinoma giant cell carcinoma of lungs gallbladder cancer they may be either homotypic or heterotypic that means cell may engulf the cell of same type or different type phagocytosis is present phagocytosis is present i hope things are very clear for you yes thank you